And welcome back to Live at 5 at 4. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Commemorative Commission has a number of activities going on in the area starting tomorrow that will run through MLK Day on Monday. Yeah, Deborah Porter at first off here to tell us a little bit about uh, the big week coming up. Good to see you. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Beth. Thank Absolutely. You it's going to be a big, big celebration. It really kicks off tomorrow, doesn't it? Tomorrow. It kicks off tomorrow with the interfaith service program at Community Evangelistic Church, 2650 Boyd's Bridge Pike, and that's at 12 noon. So, you know, people at uh, work can come during their lunch hour. We normally don't spend any more than an hour, and then if they want to have lunch, they can have lunch tomorrow. So it starts, at that, and that just sets off the activities, if you will. Kind of sets the scene and the tone, certainly. Absolutely. Talk about each day what you have yes. planned. Well, on Thursday, of course, is our uh, big leadership symposium and luncheon. Uh, the retired criminal judge, Pamela Alexander, will be our speaker. Uh, she's from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and she ha has ties here. Her husband is from here. So she'll be coming back and, and delivering our, our keynote address for Thursday. And uh, we have probably over 600 people registered for the luncheon, so it's going to be a wow. big affair on Thursday. And then Friday, of course, is our community uh, wrapping session at Beck Cultural Center at 7 o'clock. Uh, Oripa usually does that for us and they do a great job. They'll be talking about uh, reparations and some controversial things that we like to get into discussions mm -hmm. about. Saturday is, is the big thing for our youth, our children and youth at Austin East. And we have a new little twist with that this year. We will be actually having a food truck for parents from 11 to 12 on that Saturday, along with the workshops for the children. But we'll also be giving away books from 11 to 12 as well. So we have the dream truck coming for the food, and then we have the bookmobile, which will give books for the children. And that's also in connection with the teachers in service on the 18th on that Saturday at Sarah Simpson. Sunday, Night of the Arts. Oh, you know, you dress up, you come, and, and be dignified, you know, with the, <laughs> at that uh, event. So it would be real good. And then you have Race Against Racism, too, race right? Race Against Racism. We also, you know, we partner with the YWCA, mm -hmm. and that's at 11, from 11 to 2 on that Saturday. Um, Monday, of course, is the Memorial March, the parade, kickoff at 10 o'clock from Chilhawee Park, and then uh, the memorial service at Overcoming Believers Church. So many special activities, and exactly. it's open to anyone that wants to come. You encourage the entire, entire family. community, family, everything is free uh, except for the luncheon, and we have to charge for the luncheon because of the food. But everything is free, so you know, we just ask come one, come all, and enjoy yourself. This is certainly a, a, a week of events yes. leading up to Monday, but talk about the work that you do in our community every day of the year. Well, the Actually, you know, when we start, we actually start the next year uh -huh. uh, a few days after the, uh, the day, mm -hmm. which is our memorial service. So we start going through the year, but we will have something special in April. Uh, we're wanting to do a planting project, and that's with the World Religion Initiative. So we really want to start doing that in April, which is uh, the assassination of Dr. King, 1968. And we want to start commemorating him even in April. So it's something that's going on all year long. And, uh, but it takes us about a year to really get all of our events, because this is about the biggest uh, King Week that we have in, in the Southeast. Yes. There are other, yeah, there yeah. are other ones that they have their things, but we do it for a whole week with all of these events. Yeah, you do a great job too. Where can folks learn more? Um, they can go to our website, www.mlkcommission.com and find out all the information. Still time to register for the parade. Okay. And so, but the luncheon is pretty much sold out at this point. Um, well, that's a good thing. That's a good that's thing. We, exactly, Russ. But um, still, they can go to the website and find out all the information. Well, we are thrilled to see you. Thank you for coming on. Thank and thank you. you for what you do in our community. Thank you for having me. Thank